Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now. Today we've got the Oscars on our mind. Tennis is a star-driven sport and Hollywood stars shape American pop culture. Maybe that's why there's a connection between Hollywood royalty and the kings and queens of the tennis court. So today we thought we'd highlight some of these memorable moments when Hollywood stars and tennis stars come together. So here we go. Errol Flynn, oldie but a goodie, starred as Robin Hood, but he's also remembered as one of the best playing movie stars, as this vintage footage from the Beverly Hills Tennis Club reminds us. One of our favorites, Will Smith, created some crazy drama and carnage right outside the U.S. Open's front gate. Remember this scene with Tommy Lee Jones from Men in Black? Will gave us an even more memorable tennis moment with Novak Djokovic in a little dance rally. No, 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 no. Así, así como yo. And you know, sometimes Hollywood inspires players. Take, for example, Novak Djokovic, who says Sparta spurred his title run at the 2015 U.S. Open. He says he watched the movie 300 to pump himself up just before the final, and he says the line from Gerard Butler, this is Sparta, got him all fired up. This is Sparta! <laughs> And wouldn't you know it, the movie star was in Nole's box and they embraced after the match and then shared a movie moment. This is Sparta! <laughs> Roger Federer looked like a tennis James Bond at this year's Academy Awards. Roger met James Bond at Wimbledon. Well, the Pierce Brosnan version, that is. Badly, but uh, to play. What, what, what do you make of Roger Federer when you watch him? Outstanding. Poetry, emotion. Unbelievable. Just amazing to watch you. It really is. Completely satisfying. Paul Bettany and Kirsten Dunst starred in the 2004 feature film Wimbledon, which employed former Wimbledon champion Pat Cash as the tennis coach on set to teach the stars. It takes to win. Oops. Sorry, wrong court. Lives in property, right? Yeah. Ten bucks says you can't hit two in a row. You're exceeding my expectations. The late Dean Paul Martin, son of Dean Martin and a very fine tennis player himself, starred alongside Ally McGraw in the tennis-themed Players film. <laughs> Guillermo Vilas, John McEnroe, and Illy Nastasi made cameo appearances in that film. Very cool. Some of Hollywood's great comic actors were huge tennis fans and players themselves. Charlie Chaplin and Groucho Marx joined Hall of Famers Fred Perry and Ellsworth Vines on court for this classic doubles exhibition to celebrate the opening of the Beverly Hills Tennis Club way back in 1937. Perry knows a little tennis too. My father was always, he wasn't a very good tennis player. My father was carrying a picnic basket and uh... Here's an interesting note. Robert Downey Jr., who earned a 1993 Academy Award nomination for his portrayal of Charlie Chaplin, consulted Chaplin's tennis passion to learn that he was actually ambidextrous. So Robert learned to play tennis lefty for that role. You learned to play tennis left-handed? Yeah. And, and, uh... Well, I learned to play tennis with old tennis rackets, and then I was looking at some old films, and I realized he was ambidextrous, that he was playing left-handed. Then I went back to my tennis coach and said, just one last thing, we got to switch. <laughs> Very cool. The late, great Robin Williams also loved the game of tennis. Remember Robin and Andre Agassi squaring off for this charity exhibition? Love to see that. Bridesmaid showed us some comic brutality in the women's game. A lot of us club players recognize those girls. Academy Award winner Kevin Spacey says that he used tennis to inspire his approach to the stage. Kevin explained the similarities between the two crafts in this Indian Wells interview with Tennis Now friend Nick McCarvel last year. 
every night after night after night. And I'm always using the analogy of it's like tennis. If you went out eight times a week and played tennis, yes, it's the same rules, but it's never the same game. It's you're always moving, you're always advancing, and, and the theater is like that. It's a it's a living, growing, changing, moving organism. And another Academy Award winner, Dustin Hoffman, has hit with Jimmy Connors, and he is a lifelong student of the game. Of uh, Borg, because I think Borg was the first one to use topspin. Jimmy Connors, because I think he was the first one to give his finger to the referee. <laughs> and this is interesting. Asked if he could play a champion in the movie, who would he choose to be? The Tootsie star had an interesting response. Who I would be? Yeah. Yeah. Either Serena or, uh, <laughs> or her sister. And actress Elizabeth Shue, a huge tennis fan, an exceptional player, as she showed when Chris Everett and Lindsay Davenport guest starred on CSI. Charity event every year, and she's like the best tennis player in my charity event. Looks like she sh could have been on the tour. You know? Oh my God! No, really, don't seriously, do it to me. you do. She's a good player, and she just <laughs> loves, has a passion for it. So many moments to remember. Let us know your favorite. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time.